Right mate, so can't get my camera linked up to my phone so I'm doing this a bit blind and the screen will go out and all of that but anyway day after Boxing Day I'm here in Whitby gonna be posting this tomorrow and it's gonna be a review of this one uh, Kendall RBY Snuff I think it used to be Raspberry Menthol but they changed the names didn't they because they had to uh, don't forget by the way mates I've got a Simply Snuff Facebook group now Simply Snuff Facebook group so if you want to hop over I've put loads of news and updates on there there's lots of fresh content loads of people coming over and share like-minded people you know we're all into snuff so yeah uh, it's happening over there so if you fancy to join it join in as all well. it's facebook simply snuff and we'll see you over there in the meantime i'm going to take you down just over the road uh, literally just over the road i'm going to show you one of the little yards here it's called Happy New Year. oh my god you're frightened me to death has that ruined my video hey, if you're on this i'm gonna i'm gonna blow your face so everybody can see it Shit, you can't have these bloody locals you can't believe it can you where was it? Spencerly's Yard across there. I'm going to show you that. Uh, beautiful little yard. Right, right on the front here. Hundreds of thousands of people walk past it every year. Don't even know it's there. You will. And then I'm going to have a walk down the bandstand and get this snuff reviewed. And I'll see you in a minute or two. All right. <laughs> Unless anybody else jumps out and frightens me to death. I'll see you in a minute. At Spencerly's Yard, as promised. Here we go. It's a bit dark, but we'll see how we get on. This is right off the front, St Anne's State on, uh, on Whitby, uh, Whitby Front where all the tourists come, hundreds, thousands of them every year and they all miss this yard. I don't know when it dates back to, but year dot, you know, again it dates back to the whaling times when families used to actually live in here, but they didn't have these big blue bins. <laughs> yeah, so there's a few cottages, I'm going to see whether yeah, cottages, they're, they're lived in, you can see. We've got uh, reeds on the door and the lights are on and no one's home. Another one up there. Let's see whether you can... Uh, oh, I've gone wrong way. Hang on. Hang on. And there's the steps leading up. Takes you back up onto uh, Cliff Street. Very close to where I live. <clears throat> Let's see whether we can... Uh, show you this uh, oops i'm upsetting people look at this mate let me see if i can show you this look at that look at that bridge from one cottage to another unbelievable absolutely unbelievable look at that for a yard they're unique to whitby are these places honestly and they're just people don't know they're here quite you're so close to the craziness, the madness, the tourists, and all of that business. And then uh, it's as quiet as a mouse here. Whoop! Dog, doggies come to say hello. Absolutely lovely. Look at that. Right, let's get back onto the road. I think that dog's coming to eat me. <laughs> I like dogs. Spencerly's yard, there you go mate. There you are. Back to it. I absolutely love the yard. I'm just I'm I'm actually filming at the moment. Just telling my uh, subscribers uh, you get all the tourists coming in and nobody knows this yard's here. Oh, no, no. Fabulous place, absolutely fabulous. No, no. Right, we'll shut it off there and we'll get on with the review. Right, we're back down the bandstand. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Some rowers coming down here. I don't know whether you'll be able to see them. I think you might be able to. I like this little spot down here. It's, it's, can you see them over there? Oh, don't, don't move it round anyway. <laughs> moving it round, it'll make a right ash of it. So we got this Kendall's uh, RBY. I think it used to be called Raspberry Menthol, but it's called RBY. Can't see, <laughs> Raspberry. I can't see they put a lot of thought into that, but who cares? Uh, you know, it's descriptive, we know what it is, and uh, yeah, it's in a, I think it's a 25 gram tin. I've got a piece of paper flashing around here, I made some notes, but I can't be bothered, I'll just tell you. <laughs> I, I have opened the tin, it's vacuum packed, and it's a bit of a sod to open sometimes, but anyway, we've got this one open. Uh, yeah, we've got the snuff anchor, I've got a snuff paddle. 
I got a camera, I got a media mod, all is good with the world. I've had a nice Christmas. Mrs. M's not here, but she says she might be coming. She's got to go shopping to Leeds, and then she might be coming over on Thursday. So that will be nice. It means I've got to get the cottage all back spick and span. She doesn't like it. Oh, I can smell that. Just take the lid off that. I could smell that raspberry. Tell you what it smells like. Do you know when you were a kid and you used to have them uh, ice cream cones and the, the ice cream man used to put that raspberry sauce that sweet sticky sauce on it smells like that <laughs> just like that now look it's this light brown I'm not used to the Kendall snuffs being this sort of color so it is very different the base flower is different I'd say that's let's have a look come on can I show you let's try Simon God loves a tryer yeah, raspberry. I know there's menthol in it, but I'm not sure. I can smell the menthol out the tin, which is odd. <laughs> bit odd, innit? Excuse me, I'll just blow my nose. This is gonna be, oh. I've just trimmed up, just trimmed my beard and everything. Had my hair cut. Mrs. M cut my hair for me. And uh, let's get my beret straight. Is my badge right? Yeah, my badge, right. right. We're ready to review. <coughs> Snuff Anki, Frog It Throat, Snuff Paddle, Kendall RBY, light brown in colour, medium fine grind, a little bit of moisture in it, you know, there's a couple of little bally bits. I like a bally bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, I do like a bally bit. Look, can I show you this? Can I dig it out? That's what I mean. <laughs> If it don't get blown off, come on, don't. That's a bally bit. So, am I gonna take it with a snug paddle? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get it towards the front of my nose. As I say, out the tin you're getting raspberry, sweet, sticky, fruity raspberry. I can't take it, it's blowing it off the snuff paddle. Front of nose, straight up. You get a bit of a burn going on almost immediately. You get the raspberry. Do I get the menthol? If there's menthol in it, which there is. Oh, excuse me, I told you it my first snuff of the day. You don't, you don't immediately get the, uh, the menthol. Excuse me. But you get the burn from it, but you don't get that instant. Oh, oh God, it's sneezy, is that, innit? Blimey. Oh, 40 years of snuffing, I still sneeze me head off. Um, right, where was it? You don't get that... You don't get that big bent of me, belt, bent of me, belt of menthol with it. It's there, you get the burn from it, but that raspberry, sweet, sticky raspberry sauce, scent, topping, dominates. You don't get the base flower either. You, you don't, it's just, it, it's just drowned out by the raspberry. Now, I do like the Paul Gotthard uh, snuffs because they feel pretty... Oh, excuse me, they uh, don't sneeze again, Simon. Make you suddenly look like an amateur. <laughs> like a beginner. <laughs> yeah, Paul Gotthard snuffs, they really smell. They have a genuine, and those, uh, forget the other ones now, uh, the tangerine one, they're in the brown packets. Come on, help me out, help me out, you know what I mean. They smell natural, they've got a, a natural scent to it. This isn't natural, but <coughs> it's not unpleasant, far from it. I, I quite like that sticky sweetness with it. I wish I could pick up on the menthol a little bit more. That'd be a bit more pleasing. But once you start, once you get this sneezing over and you start loading up with it, as far, you, you know my feelings on fruit snuffs. But I like this one, I like it, yeah. I like it because it is, a, it, it's not trying to just copy a raspberry scent. It, it's sort of saying that, yeah, there's raspberry in there, but it's a little bit different, it's a bit sweeter, it's a bit fruitier, it's a bit sticky sweet, which I like, you know, it's, it, it has an identity of its own. If you don't like menthols, I still think you'll get on with this. If you like a fruit snuff, you will like this. It's not loaded with menthol. It just gives it that little burn and that little kick, and it brings something to the party. I like it very much. So it's Kendall RBY. It's in a 25 gram tin. Um, it's light brown in colour, different from the other Kendall snuffs I seem to remember taking. Uh, it's a fine grind. Uh, it's got a decent moisture in it. Vitamin N's. Okie dokie.
not bad. Uh, it bumps very well. Front of nose, sticky raspberry sweetness and a little bit of menthol. Not to write home about, but it's not bad. And will I take it again? Absolutely. I'm going to stick on this all the rest of today and uh, I think I'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, that's it. I'll see you soon. I'll try and turn this off by hand because I haven't got my phone working. I'll see you later. Chin chin.